<laughs> this could be a keyboard. Hello everyone, I'm Em. Welcome back to Tech Block. Today we have a box here in front of us. I don't really know what's inside it. This might be Logitech selling me a keyboard of theirs. I don't really know. Uh, so uh, by the title of the video, you know what this is. I really don't. So, hey, it is the Logitech keyboard. Damn, dude. Exciting stuff. All right. This is what I was hoping to receive. There's a, I ordered some stuff on eBay. I'm like, maybe I just got like some parts for my car that arrived in this like odd looking black box. But no, it's Logitech. All good, man. All right. Never had a Logitech keyboard in my life. This is actually kind of sponsored by Logitech as well. So they sent this over. This is very, very expensive as well. I think this goes for around 220 pounds. This is super high end, but it does have some wonderful features that we shall check out. But I wonder if there's anything else in this box here. Nope, literally nothing. I've made quite a lot of videos on this channel featuring different keyboards from Razer. This was the first time ever we're checking out a keyboard that's not from Razer, but it is something very high end from Logitech. This keyboard not only has wired modes, but it also works in wireless. Uh, so apparently in wireless mode, it can last 30 hours according to the packaging uh, information right here. But uh, this is pretty cool stuff. I was actually expecting the keyboard to be quite a bit heavier, given the fact that it has like, you know, a battery inside there, because it's like a wireless keyboard, or at least it can be used in a wireless mode. Um, but it really isn't that much heavier than like your standard keyboard. Not that that would be a problem anyway, unless this is like sitting on your lap or something. In terms of like media controls and like features, this has five macro keys, a, like a whole scroll bar, uh, just a bunch of dope stuff. So without further ado, let's get this guy unboxed. Check it out. This is gonna be my new keyboard. We're actually switching from Razer keyboards to something else. Can you believe it? Wow. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get this guy in box. I need a knife. We'll do a cut here and a cut here. And I think that's it. Oh, open up. Damn, dude. We got Logitech, like embossed over here. Ooh, ooh, that looks nice. These are very different sounding, very different feel key switches to what I'm usually used to because uh, the switches that I've been using lately are the uh, Razer Greens, the uh, newly like updated Razer Green switches on the uh, Black Widow Elite. So that's what I've been using lately. But what's kind of cool is that for the first time ever, there won't be a Razer keyboard in my, in my setup. Like it's actually gonna be a different company for once, wow. So these are the GL Clicky Key switches, durability 50 million key presses, actuation distance 1.5 millimeters, actuation force 50 grams, and a total travel distance of 2.7 millimeters. The travel distance on these keys is very little, which I am a fan of. I do like the font that they've actually gone for on the keyboard. It's not like super gamery or something. It's like a standard normal font. It looks professional, it looks good and this keyboard does of course have very nice amounts of rgb i'm very happy about that damn dude uh this has a scroll wheel as well which i'm very much a fan of okay oh you kidding me this is light as hell oh my nah dude okay there's a whole peel that we have to do as well oh, oh lord that, that nearly ended badly this keyboard weighs nothing 1025 grams I mean, for a wireless keyboard that can last 30 hours, apparently, this weighs nothing, man. And it's not even made out of like freaking plastic or anything. Like it has like um, an aluminium top plate, by the looks of things, or like a brushed metal top plate of some sorts. Oh, I do like that. Oh, oh, that is nice. Right, um, there is a scroll bar up here. Now I'm used to the one on the Razer keyboards being like in the um, top right corner and you kind of like, scroll through the side of the keyboard almost, but this, this is different and it's freaking smooth, man. As for the multimedia keys and like all the other like M1, M2, M3, MR, these are like rubberized uh, keys. Whereas, you know, all the other ones are plastic, obviously, but uh, for M1, M2, M3, MR, the previous track, play pause, next track, uh, mute audio. These are all like rubberized keys, which I don't know how I feel about that yet. I mean, I don't really mind them. Ooh, they've done something better than Razer. So um, on Razer's uh, Black Widow Elite keyboard and Huntsman Elite keyboard, Razer's multimedia switches, they don't actually shine through the keycap, so you can't actually see what you're pressing at night. Whereas Logitech, you know, they thought about this, they're like, right, you know, let's not mess our key switches up for no reason, and actually like make the light shine through the keycap. Smart people over at Logitech, so uh, good job on that, guys. Right, is this thing charged, and how do I turn it on? I do believe this keyboard is not charged, 
so we shall charge it. They do give you a 1.8 meter braided cable over here. Unfortunately though, this is a micro USB cable, not a type C. In a keyboard this high end, I would have liked to have seen type C. Uh, I myself am slowly transitioning uh, into like, you know, more and more type C devices. I bought myself loads of type C cables, uh, you know, just in case I ever need them. But uh, unfortunately this keyboard is using micro USB which is a little bit of a shame. Wish they used Type-C, but you know, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. So we can just like, you know, plug the keyboard in like that. That'll charge it up, of course. But uh, you do get some other things in this box as well. You get a little dongle over here. So by the looks of things, we have a, a wireless transmitter here saying G915. Uh, this plugs into this little dongle looking thing. This has a uh, micro USB on the other side. Very interesting stuff here. Don't really know how to use it yet, but I shall find out. We have a Logitech G sticker. Good to see. Um, we got Logitech.com, guessing this is some kind of quick start guide. Oh no, it just says the Logitech G Team. Keep playing and it shows you a bunch of their other devices that you can pick up. So you can pick up the C922 webcam, the G560 uh, like RGB speakers, which I actually would kind of like to try out. They do seem to be pretty nice. And to be honest, I actually don't have speakers in my setup. So Logitech, if you do actually want to send me out some, um, some of your G560 RGB speakers, yo, let me know. I would actually love a pair of speakers from you guys. Right, I'm done playing around. Let's take this to the office and actually get it set up. I have placed my tripod on top of the beanbag, which admittedly is probably a terrible idea. Right, so I've gone ahead, I've plugged the dongle into the PC. It says it's all set up and ready to go. This PC does have Bluetooth, luckily, uh, which is, you know, always nice. So we can use this keyboard in wireless mode on this PC. Man, cable management, dude, this is just beautiful. I'm just, I'm actually very happy with this keyboard so far. <laughs> I barely used it. Actually, I've not used it at all. But the fact that I have a wireless keyboard now is just pretty damn sick. All right, so we've plugged this bad boy in and uh, currently there's a battery uh, LED indicator there, flashing green, which probably means this thing is charging. I do have Logitech's uh, G915 keyboard right here. Okay, so uh, the keyboard is charging up. I'm gonna be back in probably Oh God, many hours, because I have to go to the airport real soon to pick up my friend, he's back from Germany. But once I come back from the airport, hopefully this keyboard will be charged and we can continue this video. It'll be dark outside as well by the time I'm back. So, uh, you know, we can check out all the RGB lighting effects, check out the Logitech software, do a full sound test, all the lot, you know, as of all my keyboard videos in the past. Hopefully this one will be just as good, if not better. So uh, with all that said, I'll see you in a few hours. Hopefully this keyboard will be charged by then. All right, so we are back. The keyboard is charged. Everything is looking real good. As you can see right here, you know, it's all on. We got some lovely RGB goodness all over this place. Up in the top uh, left-hand corner of the keyboard here, we have M1, M2, and M3. These are memory profiles. And then we even have MR for macro recording, I believe. Uh, so M1 has this kind of lighting effect by default. M2 has a breathing lighting effect by default. And then M3 has uh, like a spectrum cycle or like a color cycle lighting effect throughout the whole keyboard. Pretty cool stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it back to M1 because that's the whole rainbow wave effect that I am a fan of and it kind of matches everything else in the setup quite nice. So that's just a few of the effects that are on board the keyboard but I will go more in depth in the lighting effects later on in the video. But before we do any of that, I wanna show you something that's pretty damn cool. Not only can this keyboard connect to your PC, your laptop, whatever device you're trying to connect it to, via the little dongle, the USB dongle that you get with this keyboard, it can also connect to your device via Bluetooth. So essentially, that means you can have two devices connected to the same keyboard at the same time. You can't quite control two devices simultaneously, but you can have two devices connected and switch between them. So essentially switching between Bluetooth mode on one device, for example, my PC right here, and Wi-Fi mode or the dongle uh, mode to another device. Very simple to switch between them. Right, so on the keyboard, there is a uh, like a Wi-Fi mode basically, or the dongle mode, uh, which that dongle is currently plugged into the back of my TV, so I can use this keyboard for my TV, it's crazy. And then we have the uh, Bluetooth mode, which we can press the little Bluetooth icon there, and that'll switch to the Bluetooth mode and what Bluetooth devices pair to this keyboard now, it's my PC. Luckily, this monster of a PC that MSI sent out to me has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so this keyboard can connect to the PC via Bluetooth. It's pretty cool, man. Um, I couldn't quite get the keyboard connected to the, um, the TV via Bluetooth, probably because the TV doesn't have Bluetooth. Uh, so this is why we're currently using Bluetooth for this PC and not the Wi-Fi dongle. But just so I can show you that everything does actually work and this is like super sick, 
uh, we can press the Windows button right here. As you can see, the PC is currently being controlled by this keyboard via Bluetooth mode. But if we go ahead and press the Wi-Fi mode right there, as you can see, it's switched from Bluetooth to Wi-Fi. Let's go over to the living room. Boom, we're in the living room. Right, can we even get anything in frame? Okay, close Spotify. No, I don't want to close Spotify, but I'm using the keyboard and I can move around here and stuff. Right, let's go into search. This makes searching for songs on Spotify, searching, you know, for films on Netflix or videos on YouTube way easier when you have like a wireless keyboard that you can just, you know, type stuff with. Because I'm sure uh, you know how annoying it is to type like this, like, you know, using the freaking Samsung remote and the on-screen keyboard and selecting letter by letter. Uh, yeah, that's very annoying, takes so long. Luckily though, this TV does have like um, speech to text functionality, I suppose. So if you hold this button right here, hello world, um, that should hopefully, uh, yeah, there you go. On the TV it said, Nadia, hello world, close enough. So this TV does have like speech to text functionality, which is useful, but it is always nice being able to just type whatever you want in via a keyboard instead of, you know, speech to text or anything. So that's everything working there. And uh, I'm actually gonna take the dongle out of the back of the TV and give you kind of like a better demo. So as you can see behind the TV here, there's just a little USB dongle that I've freaking plugged in here. There we go. Head back to the office. I'm gonna take this dongle, yeah? I'm gonna plug it into uh, my razor blade and give you guys more of a live demo. So boom, that's going in there. The laptop should be charged by now. Boom, Razer, while that boots up, uh, let's switch back over to Bluetooth mode. Boom, everything's working again. And I do actually kind of want to test how quickly we can switch between uh, Bluetooth mode on this PC and like Wi-Fi mode through this laptop here. All right, so the dongle is plugged in. If we switch over to Wi-Fi mode, oh, seems to be working. Okay, so if we press Hey, it's all working. And if we switch over to Bluetooth mode, okay, so like maybe a second delay in switching. Okay, so it's working on here now, Wi-Fi. All right, so switching from Bluetooth to Wi-Fi, pretty much zero delay, but switching from Wi-Fi to Bluetooth, probably a second, second and a half delay before it begins responding via the Bluetooth connection. But overall, pretty damn good. And uh, the battery life on this keyboard uh, is actually freaking amazing i've not had to charge it once and i've been using it for um, over a week now i think it's been i think it's been nine days so i've gone ahead and plugged the dongle back into my main pc over here uh, just so we can access the uh, logitech g hub there you go there's the keyboard and as you can see the g915 is right here battery life is at 54 percent uh, this is their whole software by the way we got uh, a bunch of the light sync functionality so a bunch of Fancy lighting effects that you can play around with. We'll go over a lot of these in just a moment. The fact that I've been using this keyboard daily um, with full brightness, all that, the fact that it's only drained like half of the battery life in over a week, that's pretty damn good, honestly. Like I've been editing all my videos on here, I've been playing all my games on here using this keyboard. Battery life is still great. Uh, in terms of input delay, I'd recommend you use the Wi-Fi mode. Uh, personally, I feel like there's a little bit of a delay with Bluetooth, but with Wi-Fi, I feel like it's just flawless. Like, you would never think that this is a wireless keyboard. Like, never ever would you think that you're using a freaking wireless keyboard. Like, honestly, there's pretty much no delay. It's, it's beautiful. With Bluetooth, I felt like maybe there's a little bit of a delay, but um, you probably couldn't really tell the two apart. In terms of input delay, like, it's honestly freaking fantastic. Battery life is just crazy good, given the fact that this is such a slim keyboard. Like, Low profile switches, the whole keyboard itself is freaking low profile. It blows my mind how they've managed to like pack all this stuff into this keyboard and uh, just have such great battery life. Um, one complaint I do have though, and this is because I'm coming from like Razer keyboards and I'm used to certain features always being there, and that is fully programmable keys across the entire keyboard. I went into Logitech software and I was greatly disappointed um, to find out that the only keys that are reprogrammable are the, you know, dedicated like macro keys G1 to G5. So we got five keys on the keyboard that we can reprogram and they can do, you know, whatever you want them to do. 
which is great and all, but what I wanted to reprogram in particular is the scroll wheel and maybe possibly the media controls. I can't do any of that, unfortunately. Kind of a shame and nearly a deal breaker. Like, <laughs> I don't mind about every other key on the keyboard apart from the scroll wheel. I really, really did wish that I could reprogram this scroll wheel to zoom in and out of my timeline on Adobe Premiere because that's what I'm used to on my Razer keyboards. I've been doing that for like ages now and that's just the way I, like, I edit all my videos nowadays. So now when I'm editing my videos, not able to you know, zoom in and out of my timeline via the scroll wheel on the keyboard, which is a shame. To be honest, given the price point of the keyboard, you really should be able to reprogram everything, like surely, uh, like at least the, the freaking scroll wheel, man. Um, th this is super, super expensive for a keyboard. I get that it's wireless, I get that it's like almost a one of a kind product. Probably nothing else in the market can quite match up to you know, the features that this keyboard has, but why they chose to not let you reprogram certain keys on the keyboard, I don't know, man. Anyway, rant over, let's quickly go over the sound test, do the full lighting overview, and finish up the video. All right, so let's quickly go over a few of the lighting effects on this keyboard. We have fixed, uh, currently set to like a cyan color, you know, the Logitech G color, I suppose. We got cycle, basically a spectrum cycle, uh, found on many Razer keyboards as well. We got color wave, AKA the rainbow wave effect that everyone loves so much. This is the ripple effect. This also does work when you use the multimedia keys but not the scroll wheel. This is the starlight effect. There's an audio visualizer effect, which you can customize the color of, of course. Uh, our one is just going to set the cyan. As for animations, uh, yes, this keyboard does have animations with plenty of different effects to choose from. We have the contrastic one. Uh, this is how it all looks like, pretty cool. We have lightning. I'm sure you can guess what lightning is, boom there's lightning that strikes and it actually does look pretty cool. Apart from that though, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed watching me check out this keyboard unboxing and kind of give you guys a little bit of a review, a little bit of an overview of what this keyboard is all about, whether you should buy one. Is this keyboard for you? Personally, like overall, if you disregard the insane price tag, this is a good keyboard. Like there's no doubt about it. Apart from a few minor complaints from me uh, regarding, you know, the non-programmable scroll wheel, it's a great keyboard. Battery life is good, the connection is great, the RGB lighting effects, tech block approves, the whole keyboard is just really damn good. Like I'm really struggling to find like, you know, terrible things to say about this keyboard. Like there's legs at the bottom, it's all adjustable. It's genuinely a great keyboard and I'm glad to have it in my setup. Uh, just having a wireless keyboard, I really didn't think I'd appreciate having a wireless keyboard so much but it just makes cable management that a little bit easier. And you still have a sick keyboard, sick RGB, like you don't really lose out on much. Just the price tag of this keyboard is gonna probably be the main thing that kind of pushes people away from it and yeah. Apart from that though, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll probably be posting a full review of this keyboard sometime in the future if it you know stays in my setup, but I still have to post two reviews of the Razer keyboards that I've been using. The uh, Black Widow Elite, I've been using that for a while, need to post a full review of that and the Huntsman Elite, which I actually have some bad things to say about. So expect more keyboard videos coming soon. Uh, and yeah, apart from that guys, thanks for watching. Check out this keyboard first link in the description. Hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.